Hello, my name is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the Get to Know Me in 25 Questions tag. I was tagged in this by Steph over at Literati Medium, who I will link down below. And the original tag was created by Mazza Booktube, who I will also link down below. So there's 25 questions in total. Um, so we'll just get started. Question one, what is your channel about? Books. Question two, how old are you? I'm 39 years old. Question three, what's your relationship status? I am in a relationship and I live with my girlfriend. And she does, she does all my video editing for me because she's very lovely. Question four, did you go to college? What is your occupation? So I went to Durham University. I studied um, German, Spanish and Italian. And I now work in HR. Where are you from? Where do you live? That's question five. So I'm from the Wirral originally and I now live in North Liverpool in Sefton. Um, question six. Looking back, what would you have told your 10 year old self? Probably just not to worry so much. Uh, question seven. Tell us about your family. So I have one brother, one sister, both younger than me. Question eight. What's your favourite holiday? I'm going to cheat and give two. Uh, Copenhagen and New York. Question nine, you have no budget. What is your dream vacation? Iceland. Question 10, name your biggest pet peeve. Probably just annoying people. Uh, question 11, what book changed your life? I'm going to say Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery because it is my favourite book. I've read it so many times ever since I was a teenager and I love it. Question 12. What simple invention improved the world? The wheel. Question 13. Favourite movies, TV shows? So, favourite movies are Clueless and 500 Days of Summer. I don't really watch films a lot at all. Um, I either get bored or fall asleep, but those two films I can watch over and over again. Um, in terms of TV shows, I still like Friends. Um, and then I am a geek, so I do like quiz shows like University Challenge as well. Um, question 14. Describe yourself using three fictional characters. So I'm going to say Winnie the Pooh, Tigger and Eeyore. Question 15. What was your dream job? I don't think I had a dream job as a child and even as an adult. I still don't really know what I'm doing with my life, but... If I had a dream job now, it would probably be to be a librarian, for obvious reasons. Um, question 16. If magic were real, what spell would you learn first? Um, I think I'd probably... What would I learn? Yeah, I think it would be if I could like click my fingers and just be ready in the morning because I am not good in the morning, getting ready for work and so on. So just to be able to click my fingers and be ready to go would be ideal um question 17 share a favorite childhood memory so my memory is not very good um so i don't remember that much but i um i do one memory i do have quite clearly is when my dad came home one day with a record this is how long ago this was this is like the late 80s and uh, with a record that he bought and it was like a new single um him and my mum put it on the record player and they were going to me who is it who is it Jennifer who's singing like I was meant to have rec recognized that the singer singers um, and anyway it turned out it was Carly and Jason and it was especially for you so and I still love that song now um question 18 what is your favorite social media and why um YouTube obviously um I only discovered booktube towards the end of last year, but I love it. Uh, question 19, if you could pick any book character, who would you spend the day with? I think it would have to be Anne Shirley from Anne of Green Gables because that would be an absolute delight. Question 20, what is your spirit animal? I'm gonna say a sloth. Question 21, what old person thing do you do? Um, I um I do I do do that thing nowadays where when I get up after having been sat down for a long time, I'll sort of groan and go, oh dear, you know, when you your bones are creaking. Um, that's quite an old person thing to do. And my girlfriend just shouts at me when I do that. 
Um, question 22, she doesn't really shout. Question 22, do you have a hidden talent? I don't think I have any hidden talents. I think I have some forgotten talents, like um, the ability to speak, you know, a few foreign languages because I studied them at university, but um, they're all but forgotten nowadays, I would say. Uh, question 23, where do you see yourself in five years? I think this question is enough to trigger an existential crisis. Um, but honestly, I mean, I'm quite happy with my life the way it is right now, so yeah question 24 share an item and tell us its significance okay so i like this question so i thought i'd show you i don't know if you can see this there so this is the little like <clears throat> poster which is in the front of our cat lasante's enclosure where she was in the in the cattery um before we adopted her um so we adopted her two years ago now i think um so this so when we brought her home the shelter asked us if we wanted to take this with us and we said yes so this sits on the mantelpiece in the back room now um so it says hello everyone i am lasante i have been released from prison for exceptionally friendly behavior and now i am looking for my forever home if you are looking for a girl that will give you lots of kisses and head rubs then please come and meet me see you soon kiss kiss and look there's a little face she's so cute she um so she's called Lasante, which I know is not the correct pronunciation, but that's how we say it. Um, the, the shelter named her Lasante because after Lasante prison in Paris, so she was feral and then she sort of <laughs> um, adopted herself into the prison um, and was a mouser in the prison. And then she became too friendly and the prison had to send her to the cassery to be uh, found a home um so so the, the uh, cat protection named to lasante because she'd come from a prison obviously she didn't come from lasante prison in paris but they call all the cats that they get from prisons after famous prisons so like i, th I think I ha they had one cat in the past called alcatraz for example um and we just thought it was kind of a cool name so we kept we kept the name and there she is so she's adorable okay and then the final question question 25 is tag some people so i'm going to tag and i don't think these people have done this before so i apologize if they have i'm going to tag jesse the sleepy koala and can i just say jesse if you're watching can you see my notebook because every time i use this notebook it reminds me of you um, and i'm also going to tag naomi from naomi's bookshelf um if you've not already been tagged in this video and you would like to give it a go yourself then of course please consider yourself tagged okay that's all for today and i hope you're all doing well i'll speak to you all again again soon bye